As soon as we heard about the wall, I called all our banners to retreat to Winterfell. Lord Umber, when can we expect your people to arrive? We need more horses and wagons, if it please, my lady. And my lord. And my queen. Sorry. You'll have as many as we can spare. Hurry back to Last Hearth and bring your people here. We need to send ravens to the Night's Watch as well. There's no sense in manning the castles anymore. We make our stand here. At once, Your Grace. Your Grace. But you're not, are you? You left Winterfell a king and came back and... I'm not sure what you are now. A lord? Nothing at all? It's not important. Not important? We named you King in the North. <laughs> You did, my lady. It was the honor of my life. I'll always be grateful for your faith. But when I left Winterfell, I told you we need allies or we will die. I have brought those allies home to fight alongside us. I had a choice. Keep my crown or protect the North. I chose the North. If anyone survives the war to come, we'll have Jon Snow to thank. He risked his life to show us the threat is real. Thanks to his courage, we have brought with us the greatest army the world has ever seen. We have brought two full-grown dragons. And soon the Lannister army will ride north to join our cause. I know, I know, our people haven't been friends in the past. But we must fight together now, or die. May I ask, how are we meant to feed the greatest army the world has ever seen? While I ensured our stores would last through winter, I didn't account for Dothraki, Unsullied, and two full-grown dragons. What do dragons eat, anyway? Whatever they want. <laughs>